Welcome to Talking Truth with Diane Hansen and Marsha Wade, where we discuss hot topics that no one wants to talk about. Stay tuned, there's truth in every episode. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Talking Truth, where we bring the truth to light. This week's topic is entitled, Living Your Purpose. I am Marsha Wade, and with me, the lovely Diane Hansen. And I have a very knowledgeable guest, beautiful guest. Her name is Trisha Ann Y. Morris, a coach, a mentor, a author, and most of all, a woman who loves God. That's right. She is here to talk with us about living your purpose. Yes. So, I am... I, um, yes. Diane, yes. purpose is such a big topic. It is, and purpose is so important, especially in today's world where people are not quite sure what their purpose mm -hmm. is. In fact, mm -hmm. when you look out and you go out and you ask persons, what is your purpose? They'll tell us, boy, you know, I can't cook more, mm -hmm. or I'm a housekeeper, but they're not They don't understand. understand. Yes. And they might be saying, mm -hmm. but, but this is talking mm -hmm. truth. Oh, is it that you're talking about purpose? Purpose. Yeah. But the truth be told is that purpose is important. It's very to, important. To, to light. Right. And so we're going to be bringing truth to light to in light. talking yes. about living your, your purpose. purpose. So Why we're happy to have here. Trisha yes. and Y. Morris with us. Yes. Yay! Trisha Ann is in the house. Thank yes. you so much Thank for joining you. us on <laughs> yes. Talking, talking Truth. truth. Yes. Trisha, there's a perception out there mm -hmm. about purpose and as i indicated earlier on that when you say to somebody what is your purpose so if you should do a box box person will tell you i don't know mm -hmm. i'm not so sure mm -hmm. why is this so right and, and what is purpose you know you've made a very good point yeah. that a lot of persons don't know what purpose is mm -hmm. and the reality is being good at something doesn't necessarily mean that that is your purpose. It could be an indication, it could be a tool that you're using, mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean it's your purpose. Right. So um, at Whole Life College, where I used to lecture, mm -hmm. um, that's a sister organization of my pastor, my, my, my church mm -hmm. rather, Fellowship Tabernacle, Pastor Al and I used to teach a course. Yeah. He would do the theory, I do the practical. And what I love is what he would say when he would say, mm -hmm. it's the original intent of the maker of a thing. Wow. Right. That's Imagine so that. the yes. original intent I, I, of the I, I, maker I, 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 of a thing. So the so reason no, no, so why no, no, the thing no, no. was we want made. to break it down, you know. Yes. We want her to break it down so anybody Everybody watching it, the five-year-old yes. watching exactly. it, understand because mm -hmm. they need to understand purpose from a very young, young age. age. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. What? Ever he intended for you to do yeah. in this earth, to be in this earth. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to be doing. Right. So who is so he? What, who is so, he? So what that means is God yes. okay, okay. had a reason mm -hmm. for you being here. That's right, right. That's basically what it means. Right. There's a reason for you being here. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to get up every day and just go to work. Yeah. It's not for you to get up every day and just be friends with your friends. Yeah. It's not for you to get up every day and just be on the corner. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to get up every day and just find a girlfriend, find a boyfriend. No, life or to is have much. 10, 20 children. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, that's part some, of yeah, it. Some, some yeah, persons, yeah, yes. Yes, the, yes. It, everybody's mm -hmm. purpose is it's different, different right. because we're all part of a whole, mm -hmm. right? So if you think of a country, a country cannot operate by one person. That's right. A country can't operate by 10 persons. Mm -hmm. A country can't even operate by 100 persons. Mm -hmm. If you have 2 million persons in the country, everybody has a responsibility, mm -hmm. right? It's the same thing with person purpose. Each of us has a part to play in this great world. Um, everybody is important. Everybody has a part to play. Yes. And this part that you play is based on what God, God has, called, has you called you to do mm -hmm. from before. Before in 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 the Bible, him said before you were before, formed yeah, in your so mother's right. That's in um, um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, so in that in that particular scripture, I'm glad you mentioned it. God told Jeremiah why 
what his original intent is. Yes. Does he tell each person what their original intent is or do they have to go and find it? No, that, <laughs> my dear, is a very good question. No, listen, 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 listen. No, it's a very good question. Let me tell you why. It's a, it, it's a very good question. It's both. Mm -hmm. God created us because mm -hmm. he wants a relationship with us. Right. What that means is just like how a guy will see a girl and say, yo, that girl, I look nice, see, man. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get to know her. Mm -hmm. Or the girl, although it may not happen as often, mm -hmm. may see, oh, that guy looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has such a nice personality. I want to get to know him. Mm -hmm. God wants us to get to know him. Mm -hmm. And he already knows us. But in that, mm -hmm. getting to know him, he will share secrets with us. Yes. Right? And these secrets will include things like, you know, I want you to do this. I want you to become a lawyer. I want you to own buses. Mm -hmm. You know, I want you to get married to this man, mm -hmm. Pastor Rowan. You know right. what I mean? Yes. I, want, <laughs> hi, Rowan. I want you to start this program called right. Talking Truth mm -hmm. on MTM. You understand right. what I'm saying? Um, I want you to start that church. Mm -hmm. So in his relationship, the more we talk to him, yeah. you know, he will reveal is the reveal, word that right, right? right? Mm -hmm. Reveal things to us. He will share things with us. He will tell us secrets, oh, right? Okay. He will tell us things that he wants us to mm -hmm. be doing. So it's important that one we establish a relationship with God. Yes. Okay. So so why I say now yeah. it is uh, twofold is because mm -hmm. in order to hear from God, mm -hmm. we need to be building that relationship. But we also need to be talking to him yeah. and listening to him. Right. So it's twofold in that he wants to tell us, mm -hmm. but he wants us to come to us, right. to, to right. come to, to him, him right. you know, mm -hmm. in the relationship as mm -hmm. well. You know what I mean? So it's not a, it, I mean, yeah. we're not talking about prayer, but mm -hmm. it's not a God, blah, 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 and it don't. Yes. It's yes. not like that. And he's a, relation, right. and he's a relational God. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And communication is two way. Can right. you imagine you have a friend and all the time you are doing the talking yes. and the friend not saying anything? That <laughs> friend, even if that friend continues in a relationship, that friend will never mm -hmm. ever feel good about that relationship That's because right. they're going to feel like the things that matter about me or what I have to say or what I have to say mm -hmm. don't matter to you right and it's the same thing with God yeah. right mm -hmm. and it is very important that as you said we have to have the relationship because God is the one who created us yes mm -hmm. so he has is as the manufacturer know how we are to be used yes, on the earth exactly and he has sent us to to make his kingdom Thy will be done yeah. on right. earth that's right using yeah. us as it is in yeah. heaven yes. so that is why it is very critical yeah. that we have that intimate relationship and, and, and to add to that him say him have the plan him say for right. i know no, the plan uh, him the man with the plan right. so if, even if you consult it's not bad to consult with others mm -hmm. because you do have Destiny help us right. out there and destiny mm -hmm. facilitators because you, have to. you right. have to and God yeah. uses people. people right. But him say, listen, I have the plan. I know the plan I have to you for you. A plan to prosper, prosper you, exactly. not to yeah. harm you, yes. to give you hope and an expected uh -huh. finish, a good mm -hmm. finish. Yes, And exactly. so we must, therefore, talk to God. Right. Right. We must right. consult him about mm -hmm. our purpose. Yes. And, and that expected finish is accomplishing purpose. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, if he says... Remember, you know, the verse in Jeremiah yeah. says in Jeremiah yeah. chapter one, mm -hmm. when he's talking to Jeremiah, he says, before you were formed in your mother's womb, mm -hmm. I knew you. Mm -hmm. Right. Your mother can know you mm -hmm. before you, you were know, formed. Right. In the womb. right. Mm -hmm. When you come out, she just I get for knowing mm -hmm. your, your father is there's nobody that truly knows mm -hmm. you but God he says before you were formed yes, yes I knew mm -hmm. you right. and mm -hmm. we don't understand that the new is an intimate mm -hmm. new you mm -hmm. meaning everything about you God knows Amen. Yes. Amen. everything Amen. Yes. and so mm -hmm. we I mean I like to say to people we're not born Christian mm -hmm. that's right so we all make mistakes and mm -hmm. even when we come into Christendom there is this uh, 
misconception that Christians don't make mistakes. We get it right the first time. Which right. Is far, far and from. that is not it. It's right. a process that yeah, we right. go through. Mm -hmm. And in this process, we will make mistakes yeah, right. and God continues to forgive mm -hmm. us. But he is loving us in a unique way because we've decided to walk, walk with, with him. him. And, right. and, and growing right. us in, in, in the process. Mm -hmm. well, I have a question for you, uh, Trisha Ann. What about that parent from the babies in the womb? Boy, this is a doctor, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. What is your take on it? And once a child born and move on from prep or primary school to secondary, mm -hmm. then we tell them what is it that you want them to become? Yes. Well, that is a very good question. Yes. And we have to be careful to have that relationship with the Lord yeah. because that person that is declaring over the child, mm -hmm. this is what you're going to do. Is that person hearing from the Lord? Right. Because that person could be hearing from the Lord why they're saying X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. Right. Like um, when I think of my own mother with my little brother, mm -hmm. she sensed yeah. that he would become a teacher mm -hmm. and he became a teacher and she didn't push him into it. Right. He used to use the ruler and bang the bed. Yes, him no. Teach, him teach the bed. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get it right? You didn't get it right. No, go back. At the, I mean, from yeah. he was this year, yeah, high, you know. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she sensed yeah. it beforehand, which some of us can do yeah. and do very well, mm -hmm. right? And so she knew. But, and then others may not know. Yes. Others come from a place of culture and what they yes. think is yes. right. 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 Or, I wasn't this, so my yes. child has, my to, child be has to be right. Yes. Yes. So it's a, it's, a, it's a certain level of, I would say, ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because God says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, which is my favorite scripture, by the way, Trust in me with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, mm -hmm. but in every way. Yes, I know. So even the very fact that you were conceived, the time is now that you start asking God, what what am I carrying? Yes, yes. yes. And you start watering that seed. Yeah, yes. yeah but I want you to touch on something because sometimes mm -hmm. people get pregnant mm -hmm. and when they carry the seed, they say, I don't want this. But they have to remember that there's a purpose, purpose. Yes, here. That that I want to, to, because you have to speak to that. If you were not supposed to be in this earth, yeah. you would not be here. That's right. And I have my own thoughts, but I like to give credit where credit is due. When I sat, because before I taught at Whole Life College, I sat in classes at Whole Life College wow. as a student, mm -hmm. right? And when Pastor Al Sam stood up before us and explained mm -hmm. that the fact that you are here means there's purpose in you. You are born on purpose for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Meaning, God wanted you here and there is a purpose in you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That thing blew my mind. Yes. Because if I had any concerns, mm -hmm. any misconceptions, yeah. any lies being told to me by Smaddy, yes. or the enemy, or yeah. myself, mm -hmm. he cleared it up. I'm done. Yes, I Nobody mean. can chat to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Because the reality yes. is, yeah. I now know yeah. that I'm significant. Yes. 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 And mm -hmm. I think that's an issue, you know, because persons might feel like, listen, I am not significant. My mother did just sleep with so and so mm -hmm. and get to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have a father. I know mm -hmm. my mother, but right. I don't have my father. And so they feel like, boy, I'm just existing mm -hmm. and I'm not living in my purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, you see how the Bible tells us that we perish because of lack of knowledge. Yes. That yes. word perish means death. Mm -hmm. And it's death, not necessarily a physical no. death. Ah, <laughs> it can be spiritual, yes. emotional, mm -hmm. financial, mm -hmm. any, mm -hmm. any, any area of your life yes. that dies. Mm -hmm. Imagine now you don't understand biology and you don't understand that when a man and woman come together in sex, mm -hmm. guess what happens? Mm -hmm. When he ejaculates mm -hmm. millions, of sperms mm -hmm. and you come out, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. out of the out millions, of, out of the millions. millions. You're already yes. special from in right, right. you know, yeah, you're already special exactly. from in here, right? right? And the thing about it is, is that we have to understand how God operates. Mm -hmm. How God operates is that He goes to the end, mm -hmm. then comes back to the beginning. Right. In other words, um, if you if you were, let's say, He were human like mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. right? then we would stand there and oh i want my house to look like this yeah. it must have these floors it must have these walls yeah. it must have this painting it must yeah. have this color yeah. and the pool must look so mm. and this must look and the plant then must sit mm. and then now you put out a blueprint yeah. and then you start to build mm. so god sees 
everything. everything. Yes. And he has and a blueprint then, for all of us. Hey, yeah. has a and then yes. he creates. Yes. Right. So what that means is, mm -hmm. is that there could never be a mistake mm -hmm. where each of us is concerned. Right. So none of us are mistake. And it's Nobody, a thing I'm right. happy you touch on, Trisha, mm -hmm. because a lot of time you hear, and I used to hear it growing up, why? I never did really want to mm -hmm. she's a mistake or mm -hmm. he's a mistake. And I yes. think sometimes that tarnish yes. a child's, a child's life. life. Yes, yes, because that's rejection. It is, yes, yes, it it is, is rejection. It's yes, rejection. It's, it releases a seed of yes. rejection. Yes. And, some some of the people, even adults, you, you do counseling session or deliverance session and you hear they talk about just when I was a child, my mother told me that she never want me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it grows with yes. them. Yes. So it, yes. It, it is really a powerful statement. Yes. People have to understand. That's why the Bible says we have to be transformed by the renewing of our minds yes. because we have to understand that it doesn't matter how we get here. Mm -hmm. Why we, we come get by here? Boat. You know, matter if we come by boat or airplane, helicopter, it jet, matter. in our fly out of sky. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> remember when we were when we were children? They used to say, "Ah, oh, babies drop from sky." sky yeah. It doesn't matter how we yeah. came. We have a purpose. That's right. Yeah. And I want to add to that yes. that before yes. Mary meet Tom. Mm -hmm. yes. God was like, well, Mary, I'm going to meet Tom. Mm. Them not married. But that one must come because yeah. I have something for that something. one to do in yeah. this earth. Purpose. That one is important. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm yes. saying? Yes. And so the reality is it doesn't matter the mistakes of our parents or our grandparents. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it matters because yes. Yes. it has far-reaching implications. Yeah. Right. But the reality is mm -hmm. once you're here, yeah, right. you're significant and mm -hmm. nobody should take that away from you and we shouldn't allow people to take it away from us right we shouldn't even be taking it away from, from ourselves. ourselves yes because right. some yeah. of the times yeah. we have taken it yeah. away from, from ourselves. ourselves from the way right. we speak how we behave yes. right. decisions we make everything right. everything right. Right. and how we allow others to treat us or right. to yes. think about us yes. and so it's important but the next thing i want to talk about or to ask what does identity has to do with purpose well let me tell you this and I ask because I think in today's world, some you know people are suffering from an identity crisis. crisis. Yes. Well, let me tell you this. Um, you cannot know your purpose if you don't know who you are. True. Yes. And why that is is because if you don't know who you are, then you're going to do anything. Yeah. If you don't know who you are, you're going to be anyone. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if the intent that God remember, you know, original intent of a me of the maker of a thing. Mm -hmm. So um, Pastor Al used to do this exercise at Whole Life College where all right, let's say for example, let me a phone, your phone cute. <laughs> like a new phone. Not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so the original yes. um makers of the phone mm -hmm. intended for the phone to be used for receiving and making of calls. Right. Sending of SMS, meaning text messages, right? Mm -hmm. Um then you know if you want you can put apps on it right they certainly didn't intend for the phone to be th thrown yes. down yes. or stomped yeah. on right. you know um broken up to be used as ice right. none of those ridiculous right. things right. 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 so the point i'm making is mm -hmm. is the the original the, the maker the of the why. thing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. knows what he wants mm -hmm. and in this case we're talking about god mm -hmm. And you now need to know what he intended. Mm -hmm. And that knowing includes your identity. And yes. therefore you have to go to the manufacturer. manufacturer. You have to, have to in yes. this relationship. Yes. Yes. Who am I? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And, and, and that's so important because I believe that every woman or man should get mm -hmm. up when they get up in the morning to look in the mirror and ask themselves, who oh, am I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it, affir it affirms who you are. Mm -hmm. and, but, and, and who am I yes. isn't... Who am I? Am I supposed to be a lawyer or a doctor? No, yeah. That's not no, it. No. That's a part of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But who am I is, what are the gifts that are inside of me? Mm -hmm. What what are What's my potential, my full potential, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of the way I think, the way I carry myself, mm -hmm. the way, the where I'm going to go exactly. in life, yeah, you yeah. know? And the value that value I add, add, to, add to, to, the world, to the world. Right. And, and that is a big issue. Come on right. now. A big mm -hmm. issue now. What is the value we're yes. adding? Because purpose adds value. Right? Yes. Right. And the thing about it is, you know, so as I said, I deal with the practical side, which yes. is really the individual purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you know that there's a general purpose? Yes, Again, yes. because 
he taught the theoretical side. Mm -hmm. He will, Pastor Al will teach about things like the fact that we're all here mm -hmm. to love God. Right. Mm -hmm. All he, that's we were mm -hmm. created to love Copy God. The kingdom of heaven. Co created to love each other. Mm -hmm. Right. To serve Him according to His will and purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. All of so these there are different general purposes. Yes, Every that because individual should be again, doing it. That's an issue because we see where people are killing each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Malice, mm -hmm. unforgiveness. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And if we harbor those things, that we can't live. Live. Oh God, God. Oh, so, so, yeah. so, so if you understand though, yes. when you talk about identity, mm -hmm. identity, call to serve God, mm -hmm. call to love others, mm -hmm. call to live according to His will mm -hmm. for your life, yeah. um, call to take dominion of okay. the earth. Right. So whatever is in the earth that you can take out the best out of it, wow. you do so, wow. and that includes yourself. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> about ourselves, yeah. you know, you um. Must, some people would say, though, Trisha, that I am successful. I am successful in business. I'm successful here and there. And they would say that being successful in an era equates to accomplishing purpose. Mm -hmm. Is this so? Okay, so we have to be very careful again mm -hmm. because it's true and it's not true. Mm -hmm. It depends. Right. If you are successful in what God intended for you to do from the before the mm -hmm. beginning of time, of mm -hmm. course, you're successful. Mm -hmm. But if you are not doing what he intended, mm -hmm. then you've only accomplished your understanding mm -hmm. according to your understanding. Right. And so you would not have truly been, been successful, successful, right? Because the true definition of success is accomplishing the purpose of the original, mm -hmm. of the manufacturer. Right. right. So whatever the manufacturer created us to do, do and be, we, and be we accomplished our expected ending. Yes, yes. Yeah. expected exactly. ending. Exactly, right. exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so you've, you've said it very well. Mm -hmm. yes. That is exactly it. Mm -hmm. And so we think that success is riches. And mm -hmm. I mean, those things, no, don't get me wrong. You know, those, mm -hmm. all those things are important. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord says, I will give you houses you didn't yeah. build. Yes. Vineyards you didn't plant. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. He did that. Yes. He says, <laughs> once he, he he says, once he inhabits us, baby, when we, we, we receive him, he inhabits us. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what that means is our bodies are mm -hmm. the temple mm -hmm. of the living God. Yeah. Yes. So, so a, the, but all of these things are important, yes. but they cannot be important, more important mm -hmm. than the reason for being here. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a, based on what you have said so far, there's a worldview about purpose and there's a Christian, godly view. view. Kingdom or, view. Kingdom, mm -hmm. right. Kingdom, Kingdom, of, Kingdom view. Kingdom Thank you. View. Yes. Kingdom view yeah. about, about purpose. Yes. I did a, my research prior to coming on, on the program and I realized that it says that persons who live their purpose tend to live longer. This is what the, the experts mm -hmm. and the experts, research yes. have said. Mm -hmm. um, do you validate that? Do you believe that? I, that that's about my head. Yeah. Let me tell you why. I can see where there could be truth in it, mm -hmm. but I believe that um, that's, that's God's decision. Eh? Yeah. If you think about it, yeah. an individual who is... In other words, you can be impactful in ten years. You can be or live your purpose like in Jesus. ten years. Exactly. So, yeah. so, 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 all right. An individual mm -hmm. could not be a Christian today. Yeah. Don't care about purpose. Yeah. Robbing people, mm -hmm. and fifty years from now, he becomes a Christian. Yeah. He has a relationship with God, mm -hmm. and God says, "Son, this is what I want you to yeah. do." Mm -hmm. So, is there any age limit with purpose? No. So, if a child dies too, there's no limit. Right. No, it, it is what was the purpose for the this? Intended. The right. intended. Right. I ask that right. question because I want persons who are watching to understand that, listen, even when somebody die, you think that, oh, they die on time with it. Because mm -hmm. you hear these say yes. that they die at the right time. It doesn't well, matter. Not I, necessarily at the right time. No, because, because remember now, you know, mm -hmm. and, and again, these are very valid questions, mm -hmm. right? But we also have to understand mm -hmm. that human beings have choice yes. yes so when a man comes and he shoots another man mm. right um why why is that not untimely right mm -hmm. yeah you know yes. so these are very valid questions yeah. um but the 
the, the, the crux of it though mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. somebody dying could be in purpose. Yes. That is what we need to understand. Mm -hmm. I remember a story that a young lady told once. She was devastated, devastated because her mother, mm -hmm. we had been praying for her mother at mm -hmm. church and eventually her mother died. Yeah. And in her heart, she felt like she was going to live. Yeah. Right? And guess what happened? Mm -hmm. When her mother died, her father said, you know what? Mm -hmm. Because in the end, the mother wasn't a Christian. In the end, the mother gave her heart to the Lord. And when the father saw that, he said, you know what? She dead and she gave her heart to the Lord. It's time for me to do it. Wow. So in the year that yes. King Uzziah died, died. Yes, I yes, saw yes. the Lord. I, I saw there is purpose. There is purpose. Any, any final mm -hmm. thoughts or anything that you want to say um, or share with, with our viewing audience about purpose? Anything that they don't think that they know that mm -hmm. they think it's important yeah. that they that we share with them. Okay, so listen. What I would um, recommend is, first of all, you have to have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. right? Now, you may be getting those, um, we like to use the word unction. You may be feeling like you understand and there's nothing wrong with that. But it really starts with the relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Having done that, start to ask questions. Ask questions of yourself. Though in I think it's in 2 Timothy where it says, store up the gifts that are in you right. so you need to start to stir up the gifts mm -hmm. and ask questions like you know what are my gifts listen yes. for 20 sorry 15 years um, my mo was i'm working a really good job mm -hmm. making a lot of money more than a lot of other persons looking good every day going to work in a suit mm -hmm. and have company car and all of these things working with companies all over the world and I was always a speaker. I would always emote well and all of these different things. But guess what happened? When I went through my process, God was like, that was training. That That is not it. prepared it. you for, right. for, for, for Let me tell you yes. something. Anytime I go to speak, yes. whether it is locally or internationally, yes. I say, okay, guys, we're going to count how many things God has me doing now. Yeah. The mm -hmm. other day, I got to 25. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, Glory wow. To God. So yes. we can say that you're living mm -hmm. in your purpose. purpose. For yes. sure. Yes, yes, yes. Thank I, I, and, I, and I just want to add very quickly, yes. a big question mm -hmm. I always ask people is, when you see a company successful, right, that's successful, it has a mission statement, it has a vision, mm -hmm. it has budget, mm -hmm. all of these different things. Yes. How come you don't have that for your life? True. Right. Yeah. You want to understand purpose. Come on, yes, yes ma'am. You want yeah. to understand purpose? Yeah. Get a purpose statement done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. these, these ladies know my contact information. I am a purpose coach. I yes. am willing to help people because... You, you have not lived your life until you have come into In your, your understanding purpose. and the activation mm -hmm. of your purpose. Mm -hmm. Get a purpose statement. Understand. Go to God. Understand. And your godly counsel, your yes. pastor, you this and, and keep praying. To understand keep your praying. vision and Fasting. keep seeking. Keep pursuing mm -hmm. him, Sarah, to ask. Mm -hmm. You're to seek. seek you're to, to knock. knock. Mm -hmm. And if you're asking for material things, then what? why shouldn't we not ask asking him for to, to show things. us yes. our purpose? Why we are here. Right. Yes. Because yes. if we don't know our purpose, Mm -hmm. and we die not mm -hmm. accomplishing our purpose then might as well mm -hmm. we didn't fall we weren't born yes. it's a harsh truth. truth it is a truth but it is <laughs> yes. the truth and yeah. we want to say to persons be like mm -hmm. Paul he said I fought a good fight mm -hmm. I am kept the faith run a good and race. I have finished the race thank mm -hmm. you um, Trisha and Y. Morris for sharing yes. on thank living you so your much. purpose and yes. living your purpose is really living your Best life. life. Yes. Um, we're going to be taking a break right now and we're going to be posting a quiz on purpose. And so we invite you to complete that mm -hmm. quiz. And at the end of the program, we're going to be sharing the response or the answers with you. Yeah. So we'll be right back after this break with more of Talking, Talking Truth. Truth.
Welcome back to the second half of Talking Truth. We have been looking at living your purpose. We trust that you would have enjoyed the first segment where we looked at what exactly is purpose and what purpose is important to life. We have a bishop in the house, right, Marsha? Yes. We have a bishop in, in the, the house. house. <laughs> yeah. And so we have, are we ready to reveal? <laughs> we have Bishop Courtney McLean. I will want to say big up to the Wafi family. Yes, he big is up. the founder and the senior pastor there at Worship and Faith. Fellowship, am I correct? Uh, Worship and Faith International. International Fellowship. International Fellowship. Yes. Thank you yes. so very yes. much. He's an author. He's the author of Honoring God, the Gateway Access to Success and Turning Nothing into Something. Wow. That's what Purpose does for you. He's also the CEO and the lecturer at WACPIF. Christian College. Welcome to Talking Truth, Bishop McKee. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so welcome. much. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. <laughs> and it's great to see him not wearing jacket and tie, but yes. in his shirt, relaxing and chit-chatting with us. Thank it's you for accepting Thank you so our much. invitation. So we much. truly appreciate it. So, one would describe you as a successful minister of the gospel. You would. I would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> An entrepreneur. I'm probably one of Jamaica's most successful and influential minister of the gospel. Wow. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Squeeze me on the head. You know. But thank you. Thank yes. you. That's the way you see me. Thank That's you. the way we see you. So thank tell you. us, how did you identify your purpose? Well, I'm going to start by saying my next was connected to my now. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I, I like that. Your next is always connected to your now. I believe oftentimes people think that God visits you mm -hmm. and he just shows it to you just like that and you find it. And sometimes that happens. Yeah. But for me, he led me into one thing mm -hmm. and then another mm -hmm. and then another. And over time, I recognize that this is what he was saying. This is what he was doing. So it was a gradual flow. I, I, I'll give you a, a, an example. I got expelled from high school. Wow. Right, that's not a good example. <laughs> but you're talking true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I got expelled from high school. Yes. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't a Christian. Yeah. Got expelled from high school. So you say you were a rude boy then. <laughs> a rude. You know, you know what, what I recall is that trouble always find me. Mm. Wherever I was, the trouble would find me. I, th I think I was a good boy, but the trouble would just find me. I'm telling you, I don't know why, mm -hmm. you know. And so I got expelled from Jonathan, and I repeated grade nine at St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. And while repeating grade nine, I got expelled again oh. at this other school. And so I was w working with my dad on a bus at age 15. And while working with him, we just couldn't get along. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get along. And I went to Stonehill Heart Academy. Going to Stonehill Heart Academy, uh, gave my heart to Jesus. Praise God for Jesus. Gave my heart to Jesus, yes, yes. Surrendered my life to Jesus. What age was that? Uh, that's at age 17. Oh, wow. So when I surrendered my heart to Jesus now, the, the, I thought everything would change, but the trouble was still finding me. <laughs> They're still finding me. These boys, they just wouldn't leave me alone. And we end up jumping the fence and doing some stuff. And we were under this tent yeah. right out there by Stony Hill Square. And while at the t under the tent, I remember we were going to fight. And the guy started swearing and cursing and words were filthy. And it was a tent. Mm -hmm. And when I left, I was convicted. Wow. As convicted because I associate tent yes. with God, with a crusade, a crusade. Yes. and I was the cause of what was happening. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? The Spirit of God, I believe, I didn't recognize it at the time. That's why I'm saying your next is connected Indeed. to your now. Right. He started dealing with my heart, and uh, I left that knowing that I need to connect with God, and I started fasting started praying started seeking god from that it led into a full-fledged water fast full-fledged water fast started that water fast and while fasting praying seeking god as i felt 
this urge to go to Bible school. Wow. This is within days, you know. Yeah. Wow. This is within days. Mm -hmm. And I checked out Bible school. Mm -hmm. And when I checked out Bible school, I recognized I could attend. And um, I started Bible school. Yes. I started, but not, not with the intention. No, there's a gap. Okay. There, there's a gap. But not with the intention to preach. Mm -hmm. What with the intention to solidify myself and in to grow, God and to grow, and, and to grow because yeah, I was true. an embarrassment as a Christian <laughs> and I'm like oh, oh, but I don't think I call myself a Christian from some persons who are watching you know yeah. find themselves down the pit. wrong path mm -hmm. right yeah. but determined you, you, you said some you said but determined yeah. so that is it M my my desire was to grow and to live as a Christian Yes. to represent Christ well and I was a poor representative mm -hmm. as a Christian. So you never yeah. had any inclination that you would become a pastor much less a bishop? No, 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 no. I was far from it. Yes. I went to Bible school because I, I didn't like the way my life was mm -hmm. and I wanted to know the word and I was even talking to people about God and stuff and they're twisting me up mm -hmm. and I felt ashamed. Yeah. I said I need to know, I need more to know about more about God, God yes. and I need to know my faith. So that's that was my purpose in going to Bible school. So when did you become a pastor? When did you get that calling? Uh, <laughs> years after. All right, so my second year doing Bible school. So I started Don't tell Bible me say so you got, you got, you got um, expo, um, expo. No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm hey! <laughs> Whoa, that would have been a case expelled from Bible school. School. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I didn't get expelled from Bible right. school, thank God. But by the second year, being in Bible school, there's this evangelist. I remember his name, Walter Sitoli wow. from Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. He came and he was praying and prophesying. I mean, the Africans, they are different. Yes. He was just praying and pushing and he called me out and he said, God has called you to be a pastor, a pastor of many. You're going to also be rich and you're going to, and he, he spoke a whole leap of something. So let me ask that. before you finish, are you rich? <laughs> I would consider myself, <laughs> I would consider myself to be a man. Yes. A substance. substance. <laughs> <laughs> and he's talking to <laughs> I would say I would praise say I'm God. doing I'd yes. say I'm doing good. Yes. I'd praise say I'm doing God. good. Yes. And I, I make no apologies for that. Mm -hmm. I believe God wants us to do good. Right. Yes. Um I don't believe it, it glorifies God when you can't pay your children yeah. school fees. And there's a you blessing in purpose, rent. you know. There is yeah. a blessing. There in, is a blessing. There is. Right. But you know what I would like to ask you in that in that stage of, of knowing God, how did you how did you know? Because, you know, sometimes when you're young in God and, and um, you're, you're sensing that God is leading you, how did you know that God is sending me to Bible school mm -hmm. and God is sending me? What, 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 what did you get a unction? Did you get a dream? What, what, what caused uh, you to understand that this is God's voice? That's a very good question. Yeah. That's a very good question. And if I'm going to be honest with you, we're talking truth. Of yes. course. I can't tell you that I, any, any angel came down and said, go Bible school, mm -hmm. or, or I heard any loud voice. Mm -hmm. I just felt like, all right, I think my motivation caused the action. Mm -hmm. And God led through that desire please him. Mm -hmm. Remember the Bible says it is he who works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right. At that time I wouldn't be able to articulate it as I am now. Right. All I know yeah. is that I felt like I should. You mm -hmm. felt a leading, a, a yeah. prompting. Yeah. yeah, and I did. I just obeyed. So the motivation was I wanted to grow. Yeah. But what I, happened I, in second year at Bible school though? Alright, so <laughs> so let me go back. So he, he prophesied, yeah. he said you're going to preach, you're going to be a pastor of many, mm -hmm. and that sounded good, but I was suffering. Mm -hmm. Bible school, during my time at Bible school, it wasn't nice. I wasn't working. My father kicked me out of the house. Wow. Um, everything was going in the natural wrong. Wow. But I started, by the second year, I started encountering God. Yes. Really, really encountering God. And I felt purpose. Yes. Explain, explain when you say encounter God. All right. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so, when the gentleman prophesied over my life, there was something that happened to me. I was overwhelmed with the, by the presence of God. And I felt a need to fast, to pray. Mm -hmm. 
the more I fasted and the more I prayed, the something I don't understand mm -hmm. people now mm -hmm. and their Christianity. But I'm telling you, when you encounter God, everything it, it will change. Yeah. Let me explain what I mean. So I was suffering. I didn't have money to go to Bible school. I'm walking and people see me and pick me up. But I knew, I knew with all my soul, with everything within me, that I was supposed to be there. And I was doing this. And what is interesting to me is that I was praying for people who were suffering and I did not feel my suffering. Wow. That Does that make sense nice. to you? Does yes, that make sense to you? So I'm going through it and it's like I was cushioned from the the hardship. I remember I was living in this house when my father kicked me out. I was living in this house of green green acres, no window not in there. You know? wow. And God kept no you. No door. And God kept you. God kept me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when, when the man said, you, you can stay in that house, yeah. I said, okay, thank you. And I went there and it was lock and I, I get an axe or blade because it gave me permission and I saw off the, right. the, the lock and, and I went in. And, and, and after that, somebody came and said, give you permission to stay in the house. <laughs> the man said, I'm going to call the police. I said, no. So I so said, no, it's my house. So the man who gave me permission is not really his house. <laughs> I mean, there, there was, I mean. It sounds like stories. Yes. After stories yeah, after it was, it was, it was, I went through some embarrassing situations. Yes. But the thing is, I felt peace. Yes. I felt joy. Mm -hmm. And there was something in here. Passion. That made me know what i was going through was temporary yes. so how long between then and um, that you became a pastor all right so i pastored the first church i believe in about nine uh no 2000 and maybe five or six your whole world how old were you at that time at that time i was about 25 wow. or 26 mm -hmm. there about mm -hmm. pastor at a church in tivoli Wow. For, for one year, Tivoli Gardens. Then after that, I started a church for mm -hmm. Open Bible, mm -hmm. in Zood Open Bible. I uh, did that for three years. It was growing and doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. And then I heard God. No, by this time, I start. When I hear God, I know. No, yes, so it's the, 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 the whole matter was of... laid from, from your earlier years. Yes. To hear God's voice and yes. trust, yes. trust yes. his hands. So, so there's a developing mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. And you know when God is speaking to you. I was driving, going to Portland to preach, and I was praying in the spirit. And I, it, well, the presence of God was so strong, I had to pull over the vehicle. And I said to the intercessor that was with me, all right, so this is what God is saying. I'm going to leave open bible mm -hmm. and i'm going to be launching out yeah. and uh, this is what he's saying and and and, and then thereafter mm -hmm. i had about i had about five dreams wow. and that's one of the ways he deals with me i have about i had about five dreams clearly showing me that i needed to resign from my position in open bible mm -hmm. and and launch out and that's so well fit right? that's all that's all well take us Birthed. through the earlier years 25 mm -hmm pastor because you're not a bad looking young man or you're still young yes. so you would have been single young and a pastor what was that like no man i got married in 98. oh so you oh. made sure you married before <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i got married in 98. i got married in 1998 my wife is nadine hi baby hey. hi nadine <laughs> rose in my garden and my pretty little flower Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so, so I got married in 98. Uh, I don't know, my journey was, was different. Uh, I had... No it, disappointments. No, no disappointments. <laughs> only for disappointments. Many disappointments. Yeah. Many disappointments, you know. What did you ask me a while ago? Ask me again. No, I asked you, yeah. you know, your earlier years. What was it like in ministry? 25. 25, young. young. All right. Yes. So let me, I'm going to go back to... Yes. Going into full-time ministry. Yes, take us back. There. All right, so finished Bible school and I was driving a truck mm -hmm. to earn income. By this time, I was now married. Mm -hmm. Finished Bible school in 98. Mm -hmm. So in 99, I was a truck driver. Your husband would well, know me. Big up the truck driver. <laughs> big up the truck driver. <laughs> and your husband would have known me those days, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so so I was driving yeah. a truck, yeah. fasting again. Wow. Not fasting because I want to know if I must go to full-time ministry, but I just 
Bible says when you fast that if you fast mm -hmm. so you must live a fasted life like I say your next is connected to your yeah, now no, there right. are many people who sit down you know and yeah. they just want God to open up purpose yes. mm -hmm. when you do this this will connect you to that Amen. Right. Right. and whatever this God has given you to do be faithful with the this mm -hmm. if you're a truck driver be an excellent truck okay. driver ah. That's Whatever you're doing, do just be excellent heart. at it. Yes, Colossians yeah. chapter 3, mm -hmm. 23 and 24. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a matter of fact, I want to suggest that purpose and, 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 and answering the call of God is not defined or restricted to pulpit and to church and right. the four walls. That's right. Right. I could, while driving the church, that could have been my but purpose. Right, that could have been a part of my, yes, you, but, you know. a lot of people on the road and so, so, prepare you for the pulpit. Oh, right. definitely, right. Yes. definitely. Mm -hmm. So I was driving the truck while mm -hmm. driving the truck. I'm on this water fast again, straight fast. Yeah. And by day six, mm -hmm. and I recommend to people who are fasting, read the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't starve yourself. Yes. It's a practice, it's a practice of mine. When I'm fasting, I try to read off a particular book of the Bible. I was reading through Genesis and I was reading it slowly. Right. By day six, I was only at chapter eleven. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so I was reading so so very so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, verse by verse. And God spoke to me with the life of Abraham. Abraham. He said, just as I call Abraham, it was just clear, yes. I'm calling you. You're going to leave your job and you're going to step out in the unknown. So this just, time you started hearing audibly? No, it was still more in my spirit, mm -hmm. but it was very, very strong. It's not something that I could deny. Okay. I just knew, you just know that this is God. Yeah. And he said, you're going to leave your job. And I just got married. Mm -hmm. My wife wasn't working. Wow. And he said, you're going to leave your job. And he showed me clearly. He said, when you leave your job, just like there was a, a famine mm -hmm. with Abraham, you're going to experience a famine after you step out. But after the famine, which, is, which represents a test, mm -hmm. I'm going to bless you. Wow. What he didn't tell me was how long that test <laughs> was going to last. <laughs> because that was a long famine. So was there a scripture that you stood on that... that helped you to keep the faith yeah yeah that same scripture genesis genesis the same just one. as i call okay. abraham i'm calling you mm -hmm. i'm calling you and he told me the different things that he would have done in my life and, and i said yeah yeah and so, so i answered the call so you're saying there wasn't a time that you felt like giving up you know that this was your oh okay <laughs> up to today <laughs> every now and again yeah. every yeah. now and again mm -hmm. i still feel like mm -hmm. god we can't bother this yeah, thing. This yeah. this is just too much. And, and it's real because uh, even know. when you're living in your purpose, that feeling comes yes. upon you from yeah. time to time. Yeah, and people need to know that yeah. because sometimes people will be ex feeling that and wondering, am I really in the will of God? Mm. You know, is this really God's purpose? Is this really where God wants me to be? And even though you are in the will of God, sometimes you will still feel frustration. Right. But you, Moses was in the will of God. And he was yes, extremely he was frustrated. frustrated. He was extremely right. frustrated. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. frustration is still a part. Yes. But one of the things, um, Bishop McLean, that I discovered is that persons who stay in their purpose live longer. That's what research have shown. Yes. So I'm sure yes. that you're going to be living <laughs> longer. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this well, so, by the way? But, yeah. Well, uh, because <clears throat> it gives meaning to life. Mm -hmm. It, the, the, the survey was done and what they found is that persons who resign and go home and sit down, their lifespan was shortened. Because having that sense of purpose, that sense of drive, gives you longevity to your life. It does something to your hormones, yeah. do, it does something to your psyche. When you have a why, you can defy. Yeah. You can defy the odds because of your why. You have a reason for reason being. to get up and every day. Yes, and yes. that drives you. Mm -hmm. That pushes you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But what yeah, I find, yeah. you know, Bishop, is that not many persons understand purpose and how important purpose is to life. Because what I find is that many persons die without accomplishing their God-given purpose. Because there are two purposes: the general, which is to 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 you know reproduce and you know to have mm. children, to give to the poor and all that. But purpose is is beyond that. We have the call individual, of God. yeah, we have mm -hmm. individual purposes. Mm -hmm. Woman of God, yes. you, it, something exploded in me yes. when you said that. Most people spend their entire life yes. as a fireman, mm -hmm. outing fires, so they live life by crisis, mm -hmm. not by design. You are supposed to know your why. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Keep it before your eyes. Yeah. Right? So I have I've worked mine out to a science. Courtney McLean exists to add value to people. Yeah. I exist to add value to people. And that's your tagline. That's my tagline. Mm -hmm. I exist to add value to people. I wire people for the win. To win in your marriage, to win yes. in raising your children, to win in your business, to win, yeah. And uh, in in doing that, I've been able to lead many persons to Jesus Christ yes. by, by doing that. I want I want to get this point in that live life by design, not by crisis. Crisis will never stop until you die. Right. Mm -hmm. And if the because we're in fact we're living in a crisis, crisis right, right now, now. Right, right now. now. Mm -hmm. And if the enemy realize that you will be consumed with the crisis and neglect your why and neglect your your purpose and neglect your assignment then he's going to increase that upon you yeah. so while you are going through your warfare while you are going through your drama yeah. you should be focused yeah. on fulfilling your assignment and your purpose touching lives add value to people's value, lives yes. make a difference in the lives of those who you meet mm -hmm. wherever you are shine right there whatever assignment whatever job you have do your best with that the bible says whatever you do work at it with all your heart all your as heart. working for the lord mm -hmm. not for men yeah. since you know that you receive an inheritance from, from the lord as a reward right. it is the lord christ yeah. you are serving yeah. Yeah. i've memorized that one don't yeah. you yeah. <laughs> colossians 3 yeah, yeah. 23 but what about 26. that person who is in the pit now bishop who is in the pit and saying listen i want to be the next bishop McLean. I don't want them to be the next Bishop McLean. <laughs> or next to I, I want them. <laughs> I want them to be because yeah. you see, you you are unique. Right. And what you need to discover is who are you and what has God called you to do? Because you see, the thing is, we have a. I would, no, we want we talk, being, Bishop. We want to talk to the people out there who are in the rum bars, those who are really outside of their purpose. Those yeah. who just say, boy, me a chef, you know, but they understand that their life is beyond just being a chef. Being a chef, right. Being a teacher. But, being a doctor. But. I mean, your purpose can be in it. Ah. Understanding. Ah. But it, one, the, 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 why, one thing I know why, why, is about Bishop. Yeah. Bishop had an, a, a lifestyle of yeah. secret place. Yes. So he, 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 he pulls his. <sighs> Is energy from God. Amen. So, so, so it is. Is is. I'm so Excited. inspired. It's like a Moses. <laughs> Moses um, said, "God, me now go. If you now go, and it's like this is I'm the a, this man I'm said, excited. God, and me now and go. Me to, now uh, do. I'm excited Unless. because you you what up you what up you what up God. The thing is, you know, you don't know you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until you come in contact with him. Amen. Amen. All right. So Courtney. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even though I was giving a lot of trouble and mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. Things always find me. Mm -hmm. Trouble find me wherever I was. Listen to me. I was quiet. Couldn't talk. I would not have selected me to be no bishop. Mm. I would not have selected myself to be a pastor. Mm. But when you encounter God and he tears the veil and the Hallelujah. dirt and the mock mm -hmm. off you. There are many people right now, they don't know themselves. Mm -hmm. They would not select themselves for the assignment that God has for them. Mm. True. Because when they look at their limitation, they don't think they would ever be able to do that. Yes. But when you come in contact with God, God. and he tears mm -hmm. off the layers of the world yes. and mm -hmm. the different things things that the, 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 the your mindset and your way of thinking mm -hmm. and he begins to purge you mm -hmm. you're going to start to see yourself as he sees you yes. and that's significantly important mm -hmm. yes. because you don't know you yet the moon <laughs> not have no use until it encounter the sun <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah. Yes, and you yes. need to encounter the S-O-N hey. And when you encounter the son yes. He will help you to discover mm. Who you really are yeah. I never knew myself yes. That's why trouble was finding mm. me yes. I never knew myself yes. That's why I was jumping the fence And drinking rum and yes. Appleton and Pepsi But and it's your identity thing. is important to right. Very, very, very yes. important yes. Yes. Very important mm. and, so, and so that's what I'm saying People need to encounter God yes. Because there are many persons who don't understand who they are. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I want to throw something else in it yeah. because of something that you said earlier. Yeah. Please hear me. Many of us, we are going after something that is seemingly big yes. because it will affirm us. Mm -hmm. I want for you to know that if God has called you to be a chef, that's big. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. If you say the why, 
If whatever it is that God has called you to be, that's big. I don't want to be where God isn't. Amen. Whoa, I see a lot of people going by the name Apostle and Bishop. Yeah. I was ordained as a bishop long before I called my. I, I start using the title. Why? Yeah. Because titles cause us to miss. Yeah. It puts limitations. It, it, it does put limitations. Yeah, we, we miss yeah. purpose. I yeah. see people as bishop. They ten, they ten, they, they, cut, they, they not cut ten no more. They cut fifty. <laughs> <laughs> congregation worshiping. Mm -hmm. They not worship. They, they, mm -hmm. they are overseer over the congregation, yes. watching everybody worshiping. Yeah. The brokenness is gone. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is the big thing. Yeah. Listen, the biggest thing you can do. Yes. If God has called you to be that little servant girl to tell Naaman that's yes. right. yeah. about the prophet, yeah. that's big. Yes. That's and big. That's and that's purpose. And that's purpose. Yes. And, and, and because, because of our insecurity, yeah. inferiority complex, mm -hmm. what we do, we want big positions for affirmation. Yeah. Yes. And yes. the big position, when we do get it, if we get it, it's empty. Yes. 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 Because God, is, that's not where God wants you to be. Listen, I want to be where God Jesus. wants me to be. Yes. yes. Nothing is wrong with you being a painter. Nothing is wrong with you being mm -hmm. a janitor. No. Whatever you do, do it yes. in excellence. Yes. And know who you are. When you know who you are, you can pick up paper and it doesn't lower you. Mm -hmm. that's right. When you know who you are, you can clean toilets and it doesn't make you feel less than yes. anybody. Amen. So I don't want us to think that. What God wants is for you, everybody. The pulpit here is small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not everybody will get a pulpit. And I'm happy you said that because not because you might be a bishop or, or a man of God or a, or a preacher, but yes. somebody out there might be called to do something else. Yes. That's what I'm and saying. Yeah, yep. and so it's important it. that they stay where God has positioned mm -hmm. them. Very important. Yes. Right. And not Very be, important. Because a lot of persons keep moving and running, right. trying to get affirmation, affirmation. as you said, uh, and then they ended up not living in the Yes, I, feel I, feel it, I feel because, it. I feel it. Because, because we yes. need to be made yes. whole. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And we need to pursue yes. wholeness. Yes. And that comes from the secret place. Secret place. Where you yes. know God. Yes. yes. My you question know, to you, though, is yes. what is next for Bishop? Aye. <laughs> what is next to me? Let, let me tell you. Yeah. I have shifted from being goal-oriented to being growth-oriented. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm focusing on, how far can I go? Mm -hmm. Because I have grown. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really focusing right now on growing. Mm -hmm. Because if you grow, you will attract your next level yes. instead of going after, after it. That's right. Wow. And you will glow if and you yes. grow. Oh, 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 oh. Always grow with the glory. Yes. Amen. When you glow. got God I mean, yes. you know that you live your best life mm -hmm. when you're living in your purpose. Yes. Yeah. And I believe, Bishop McLean, that you are living your best oh, life. Yes. Yes. I feel fulfilled. You're living yes. your purpose and it gives that sense of yes. fulfillment. It does. Yes. It does. Yes. It yes. does. And that's how I feel. Right. That's how I feel. Right. I'm really inspired. Yes. I feel, I feel, you know, <laughs> there's a feeling of truth. <laughs> yes, man. This of one was so keen. <laughs> Glory, glory, glory to God, glory to God. Bless you, Bishop. It's such a yes. such an honor it is. to have such a mighty man of valor. Yes. A man who walks with the glow of the glory of God. Amen. A man who is like Moses, God friend. God help me. <laughs> yes. This man, a man that yeah. empowers, a man of the times, yes. a man for such a time as this. Amen. Bishop McLean. Yes, so thank you so thanks. much for joining yes. us. And thank you for having me. It was yes. wonderful being here. Talking. God bless you, everybody. Yes. And we want to say to our viewing audience, thank you for watching another episode of Talking, talking Truth. Truth. Until next time, keep safe and we love you all. God bless yes. you. Bless you. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Talking Truth. We pray you were blessed and we look forward for you next week with another hot topic where we only speak truth.